Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for November 28th, 2020. A very special happy birthday to my nephew Dakota, who as I am recording this is sick. So Dakota, get better. Hopefully you're all better <laughs> for today at least, right? So very happy birthday to you. Now today we have, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. This goes along with all the messaging that's been coming up the past few days. We usually see that there's a building of the message. When we get too narrowly focused and nobody is a bigger offender of this <laughs> than me. Okay. I will get fixated on, I was given the example a few days ago of, oh gosh, will this fit under the seat on an, on an airplane or not? Like what the drama of it all, like, I don't want to get on the plane and be holding up the plane because I'm trying to figure out what to do with my bag. Cause I don't like it when people do that to me. And you know, I have a connection I need to, to get and it's holding the whole flight up. You know, I don't want to be that person. <laughs> yeah, I will do that. I will get so narrowly focused or, you know, I, I was given also the, the example, I think maybe a couple of weeks ago, I was, you know, working with this retailer who just took me for my money and didn't send me my stuff. And then, you know, was doing the gaslighting thing and, you know, told me I could shop elsewhere. And I was like, really? Because I asked for a refund of the stuff you didn't send me. <laughs> you know, I got really fixated on that. So I get you. If you're one of those people that, especially if it's an injustice, <laughs> like, especially someone who's just trying, who's kind of, these people are con artists and they're getting away with it and people are being brainwashed by them. So that stuff, if I'm looking at the bigger picture of that, I don't like people getting taken advantage of. And so that brings out the fight in me. But on a smaller, narrower kind of uh, plane, this has taken so much of my energy <laughs> and bothered me so much. I forgot to look, you know, a little bit broader to see if it was worth it, right? I'm still evaluating that. I may take further action. I'm not sure. Uh, because again, bigger picture wise, I want to keep other people from going through this. So that's the kind of thing that we're talking about here today. Again, we've been talking about the energy drains. What do we get fixated on? What do we put our narrow focus into? How much does it drain us? <laughs> and if you were to step out and look at the bigger picture, does that change your perspective? Now, again, I gave a couple of examples here, a bigger picture on one of them. I'm like, eh, yeah, I know that's still worth pursuing. The bag under the, the airline seat, just take another bag. Just take another bag that you've taken on the <laughs> plane before. It's fine, right? So this is what maybe you can be doing today is reevaluating what really matters, what doesn't, if I'm not getting my way right now. Do I need to look at how that affects me? Yes. Do I need to look at what <laughs> my expectations are? And if it's not going my way, then it's terrible. If I don't get that person that I want, then it's awful. Is that true? Right? Step back. Look at what is really important and look at your own patterns. How are you showing up in life? What are you contributing to that world out there? Okay. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.